What's up, guys? Bodybuilding fans around the world. It's three-time Mr. Olympia. Here we are in Gold's Gym, Las Vegas. We're here for the Road to the Olympia series, sponsored by Bodybuilding.com and, of course, Muscle Tech. You're going to come in and watch me train some legs today. So strap on your belts, get your knee wraps ready. We're going to show you how the three-time, going on four-time Mr. Olympia does it for legs. So let's go do this. It's tough. Legs are tough. No one wants to train them, man. But I look forward to my leg workout every single week because these last few weeks, this is my favorite part of uh, of training for the year. Like everyone else is suffering right now, and I'm suffering, but it's really enjoyable for me to be in Las Vegas and be able to train in my home gym. Last year, I shocked the bodybuilding world with my leg development and conditioning. This year, it's to the next level. So, in order to come to the Mr. Olympia and win another title, which I'm absolute confident I can do. It takes this kind of training and this kind of atmosphere, this kind of heat to do what I do, to be the best. I have no set number of reps, weights, uh, exercises that I'm planning on doing. When I walked through the door today, I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna start with. And I pointed around to every machine and said, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. But I didn't have any idea. Yeah, as I got to that exercise and how I felt it, I, I didn't know how, what exactly my body was going to do. How many reps is that? Eight? Eight? I want to power through these. I choose I to do the heavier weights, less reps, more volume, pump the muscle, keep filling it up, hit the angles. But I'm not going to try to break any weight records. You know, I could have came in and squatted 500 just to show off for the cameras and stuff. But for me, I, I just, I'm really focused on, okay, how is this going to contract the best? My legs were ripped at 10 weeks from the front side. So uh, for me, the rep range that can't be very high because I'll just deplete my legs down. Uh, so I like to keep the weights very heavy and do lower reps. And obviously, what happens is when you train with as much volume as me, you can't do as many repetitions because you'll just burn yourself up. I mean, you have to have one or the other. Either you're going to do less weight, um, you know, more repetitions and less sets, or you're going to do a lot more sets, heavier weights, and less reps. I have a very good system the way it works now. I train by myself. I have, you know, my friends here helping me, uh, part of my team. Um, giving me that extra push, you know, which is a huge benefit for me. What we do is we try to film the training and we film the sets and the reps. And what I do is I, I go back and I almost watch it like a game tape and say, okay, how can my form be a little better? And as you noticed, I had him watch my form a little bit. And I say, okay, I'm going to take this one down to here. Um, most importantly on legs is the depth that I go and the speed that I travel through the repetitions because I want to fire the quad. So I have someone there to watch it. You know, it's, there's a lot of arcs and angles and whatnot that I have, so, you know, okay, watch this. Um, so, beneficially, it's, it's good to have someone there that will watch that. And him being behind the camera all the time, that he's seen all this stuff before. So, he's just not some random guy that just comes in and says, okay, I'm going to pick up your weights and do all this stuff. He actually knows what my system is. You know, he's been training with me for two years almost. So, I just think I have an advantage doing it that way. All right, stay with me now. I got you. Go. Yep, 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 yep. Good. I stay covered up when I do legs, actually. I, don't, I never show my legs to myself anymore when I train because I, I almost play this, this mind game with myself and I try to you know, picture my legs and when I can't see them, it seems like I can work them better. So it's kind of, you know, you learn these things, these little tricks and traits over the years. I'm never satisfied, so, um, you know, I, I just keep them run to wraps and when I reveal it all on the 24th of September, it's, it's going to shock even me, you know? That's, that's the whole plan. Good, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. When you have that much blood, I worry about the cramping, and especially now, with as much water as that came out of me today, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm drenched, I drank a lot when I trained, but I get very dehydrated after my workout, so I'm worried about cramping and, and, you know, fatigue. I mean, when I was standing there, I was almost falling over because I'm just tired, man. I just did hamstrings and quads, and I mean, I always say, you know, you want to stumble out of the gym after doing legs, and people laugh and they say, ah, you know, good joke, and I'm like, ah, it's not really a joke, you know. It's, 
that's how you know a professional bodybuilder actually trains. I mean, when I leave the gym, this is my my only weight workout of the day. You know, I do two cardio sessions around this this weights, and uh, I just really want to get the best workout I absolutely can. I would probably never recommend doing this much. This is 19 years of training. You can look at the exercises I did and you just scale back on the volume some. The rep range is okay, the weights are okay. I mean, there's gonna guys that can do more weight than me, that's fine. But as far as the volume, you know, that's something you have to build up to. People recognize Jay Cutler muscle tech. No one supports the NPC, the IFBB shows, um, all the foreign expos like muscle tech does. They just commit so much time and effort, experience, research, to give back to the community of bodybuilding, and that goes for the supplements. We have the best line of any bodybuilding supplements probably in the world. Okay, ready? Yep. Come on. Whoa. Uh, pretty much uh, every day I use Nitrotech uh, Hardcore, usually for my first meal. I usually have a shake and I have grits, so I have about 90 grams of protein, whey protein. I use the vapor before I train, uh, nano vapor. Usually when I use like the nano, the vapor, which gives me a little bit of a tingle factor in there, I usually try to use that so I can, you know, get more of a, a heated up workout. Today was a pretty strong day for me. Today was, uh, you know, I was feeling good. And, and the thing is, is I walked in this gym and I'm like, ah, I gotta do legs today. I'm feeling depleted. You know, I'm down, you know, 10 pounds in a week pretty much in weight. And, uh, you know, I'm really starting to suck the water out now for the show. And uh, for me, it's just, you know, every workout counts now. And today I think I had a successful workout. So I'm, I'm happy with the result. I do want to thank all the fans out there for the support, Muscle Tech for the opportunity for uh, making me the best bodybuilder on the planet. And of course, uh, I just don't want to let anyone down come in three weeks. So I hope all you guys tune in to bodybuilding.com for the webcast. Watch for uh, the defending and uh, undisputed champion to come back at his absolute best and grab number four title.